Okay, I want to talk about how you can open up new tabs and new windows using JavaScript. So in the browser, I've got uh, a simple little page here. There's an H1 and H2, a couple of paragraphs. There's an anchor inside the second paragraph. Right now, I have an anchor tag here, and I've listed the target as something called Fred. Fred does not exist at this point. So if I'm in the page and I click on this link, it doesn't know what Fred is, so it's just going to open up the page this empty form.html, it's going to open it up in a new page. So, uh, sorry, in a new tab. Now, if I want to control this with JavaScript, what I'm going to do is I've added a script that when I click this, I want to open up and we can target a tab or we can target a new window. What I'm doing first of all, let's take a look at the script, is when the user clicks on the h2 tag, I'm going to call this window.open command. Now it takes three parameters. There's the URL, there's an optional name parameter, and then there's a list of features that the new window can have. Now the features will depend on which browser you're talking about, which how old the browser is. The browsers, the interface itself in the browser has changed over the years. But uh, as an example, we can do things like uh, title bar, status bar, height, width. Uh, some things will work, some things won't. Again, it depends on the browser. Height and width are pretty good. Those are standard in, across most of the browsers, I believe. Um, I'll just keep this as a nice short list. So status bar, that's the bar down at the bottom where it'll display information about it. Uh, height and width, pretty self-explanatory. But there's a whole bunch of features, and I've got the link inside here to the MDN reference for it. There's a section called Windows Features, and it talks about all these different features. There's a lot of different things that you can experiment with. Again, not everything works in every browser, but you can list as many things as you want. I can come in here and create properties. I can say I want the XYZ to be equal to ABC. It's not going to cause an error. It's just there isn't going to be a property XYZ in the new window, so this value is not going to matter. All right, so I have this. I'm calling the window.open command. This is the thing that creates the new tab or the new window. If I give a URL, so it's going to be in the same folder, I haven't put any other path or anything in front of it, I can open uh, Google's homepage if I want, just http slash slash google.com. We could put that in there, it would open that. I'm just going to open up one of my own pages, and this is the window name. This is the name that I'm giving it. Because I'm calling it Fred, it means when I click on this link, this page should open up in that new tab or that new window. And then the options is just this comma separated list of properties and values. All right, so let's go back and let's try it out. Refresh to make sure I've got the latest copy. When I click on the H2, this should open up a new window. Because I've provided a name, it's going to open up a new window. So we click on that, there it is. So 300 height, 600 width. Yeah, that looks like about the, the size that I've got. And inside of here, you can see tabs.html. That's this page. Now, I know it's pretty small, probably very hard for you to see, but I'm writing out the content inside of here. So if we jump to that page itself, this is the new tab right here that I opened up. Inside of here, what I'm doing is when the page loads, I'm going to find the first paragraph in the main. So right here where it says output goes here. That's not what it says here. Window.opener. So the window object is the window itself. It's the parent object. Opener is this other window. It's the page that opened this page. That's what this opener property. Now it could be null or undefined, or it could actually have a value. So I'm going to the location property. This is the window object for this new tab. Uh, sorry, it's for the one that opened it, this original one right back here. So window is the new window that opened. Opener points back to who caused it to open. That's this one. Location.href, well, that's up here. Videos to slash tabs.html, and that's what is written right here. Now, I know it's very small for you to see, but it is videos to slash tabs.html. I took the URL from the page that opened this one, and I wrote it out in the screen. Okay, so that's working. We're getting this new tab that's opening up. I'm going to jump back to the first one. 
Now the next thing that I'm going to do is from the original, this one right here, I've targeted the first paragraph inside of main, which is this one without the link. Inside of here, if I click on it, I'm going to close something called ref. And that was the result from window.open. So this object right here, when window.open, when that method runs, it passes me back a reference to this window's window object. I can then call the close method. So there's a window.open and a window.close. This ref is just the window object for here. If I click on this, it closes it. So this, here we go, we'll open it again. And I click on come back over here, focuses on here, and I click, it closes it. So we can open and close, we can control the windows if they're opened by this window. Now, the other thing that I wanted to change and show you, instead of Fred, if I was to use underscore blank, now this is one of those default values you could put in the target here, underscore blank or underscore self. Self opens it in itself, underscore blank will open it up in a new tab. That's the default behavior for the browser. So I refresh, I come in here and I click on this. There we are, I better make sure I've got the latest copy, refresh that, click, oh, no. Nope. Sometimes it will hang on to a cached value here. Um, Oh, with the, uh, with the options in here as well. That's the thing that's setting this. If you're opening up a new tab, you're not going to be controlling the height and width. Browsers don't like you to change things like the height and width if you're opening it up in a new tab. So I've got this saved. Because I had height and width in here, I'm just going to clear this out, options. So this is going to be a blank one. This is an optional argument at the end. So we refresh that, click here. And there we are. So this is tabs opened up in a, oh, sorry, uh, new.html opened up in a new tab instead of a new window. Tabs refers back to the page that opened it. So this tab is open. Now when I click on this first paragraph, there we go, that tab was closed. Click again, I'm gonna get an error, but I can do this as many times as I want. I click here, I'm opening a new tab, and I come back and I click on the paragraph, it's going to run this function right here, which will close the opened window, which in this case is the tab. There it is, gone again. Okay, so that is targets. So you can use a name right here, or you can use underscore blank to open up a new tab. This will open a new window, this will open a new tab. You can open any page that you want, any URL that you want. If you were going to open up a new tab, avoid using height and width because those things will interfere. Those will prevent it from opening in a new tab. It'll want to open it in a new window. And you can close it as well. And in the new page that you've opened, if you want to get reference back to the parent object that opened you, the, the starting web page, the opener property is the one to do it. All right. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.